Hello everyone, my name is Carol and today we're going to explore something that I'm incredibly passionate about using cutting edge technology to bring our family history to life. Today we're focusing in on a tool that is revolutionizing how we interact with our old family photos, Gemini Pro. This is episode four in the series AI and Genealogy Revolution. Over the next few minutes, I'll demonstrate how you can use AI to restore, enhance, and creatively reimagine your genealogical images, turning faded memories into vibrant stories. So what is this tool we're talking about? Gemini Pro is a generative AI. It's like having a conversation with a creative assistant. You provide a prompt, an instruction or a question, and it generates a response. In our case, we're using it for images. It's a conversation. The most important thing to remember is that it's an iterative process. You don't have to be a tech wizard it's just a back and forth conversation. You can ask for a change, then another and another until you get the perfect result. In the image on this slide, this took a few conversations to get it right. Changing the color of the background, the design in the background, the wording and my image superimposed over the old one. We'll see some of this in action in our demo. Why do images matter? In family history, they are really important for connecting emotionally. Before we dive into the how, let's touch on the why. Why are we so drawn to these old photographs? Well, it's because they offer an emotional connection that names and dates on a chart simply cannot. They're windows into the lives personalities and moments in time that our ancestors experienced. For example, a problem with some of our images is that the photo itself is damaged. As you can see in the before photo of grandfather Alexander McCulloch, it was badly damaged. The bullet that killed this man in World War I went right through as that photo was in his breast pocket. We see the hole and we note the loss of detail. These are common challenges that AI can help us overcome. So let's introduce the solution, Gemini. Here in the after picture, with just a simple prompt, Gemini was able to repair the damage and restore Alexander to how he might have looked on that day. This is the magic we'll be exploring. Here's another example, this time of Grandfather Charles. Initially, I had just one photo of him on the old fashioned card stock from a photographic studio, and I digitized it with my phone and the background is showing through. Once again, Gemini to the rescue and with a simple prompt to ask for the removal of that background and sharpen the image, you'll see the result on the right hand side. This was marvelous. I can now use that image in my storytelling. The AI toolkit, think of it as a generative, generative AI and a smart assistant. It's been trained on a massive amount of information, including text and images. So it understands concepts like old photograph, 1940s fashion, or formal portrait. Here in the examples shown on this slide, we have an image of a woman, let's call her Georgina, which I asked the AI to create in a traditional style, as if painted and framed. But then I wanted to see how she might look in a more modern context. 
I asked Gemini to remove this portrait from the frame and give her a more modern look. On the right, you can see the result. A new image, but with the same person, now ready for a more contemporary biography or family history blog. Interestingly, it did not remove the frame first time round. But remember that Gemini, like all AI models, understand language and images and can help you create new or modified visuals. There are some core techniques that you might like to try. Technique one is all about breathing new life into the past through colorization and restoration. This is of, often the most impactful wow moment for genealogists. In my example here at the top right shows a couple arriving in Montreal in the 1940s. A typical black and white photo, which is evocative, but by asking the AI to colorize the image, we get a completely new feel. The AI doesn't just splash on random color. It makes intelligent choices about skin tones, clothing materials, and the environment, turning it into a vibrant, relatable scene. Technique number two involves removing distractions and Gemini can remove your background for you. Previously, to do this with other tools, you would need to pay more money to get that feature. Here with Gemini, it does it in, a, in an instant. So here we have a photo of a family sailing to England in 1948. On the left is the original. And on the right, I've asked Gemini to remove the background and colorize. This isolates the subject perfectly. Now this family can be placed on a presentation slide, a book cover, or into a new, more relevant background without any of the original clutter. Technique number three, setting the scene. This is about changing the story's context. Once you have an isolated subject, you can place them anywhere. For example, here with this photo, at the top right of St. Clement's Church in Devon, the original photo is filled with modern cars, which ruins the historical feel. So I simply asked Gemini to remove the cars from this scene. The result on the bottom left is a timeless image that I can use to illustrate my ancestral stories without the modern distractions. Technique three, a similar situation, setting the scene one more, once more, this time removing overhead images like wires and electricity poles that ruin the historical feeling. So at the top right, you'll see the image of this particular church with the telegraph pole and the wires. And after a simple prompt to Gemini, the bottom left shows that image with those wires removed. It's very effective to do that and so quick. Technique number four, where we can put it all together. Let's combine these skills to create a finished product. This is about designing professional looking graphics for our own, own projects. For example, I started with a professional headshot of myself, which you see on the left. But I wanted a different look. I asked Gemini to change the background to a cityscape and my jacket colour to deep green. The result is a completely new image that better fits the branding for this presentation. This shows you how you can tailor your images for specific purposes, for a blog post or a social media banner. For best practices, I do recommend that you let your viewers know that the image they're seeing has been 
either assisted by AI or generated by AI. With the great power comes this responsibility. As genealogists and family historians, our first duty is to the truth and the preservation of original records. So first, I recommend that you label everything. You could use a caption like AI restored or AI generated. And I've got a couple of examples here on this slide. One where I've created a little logo watermark that you see at the top and blended it in with the photo. And another in which I asked Gemini to add a watermark to that image to indicate that it was AI generated. This ensures that no one mistakes your beautiful creation for the original historical document. And secondly, never ever overwrite your original scan. The AI edited version is an interpretation, not a replacement. So always work on a copy. So let me summarize the four R's that we've learned today. Restore, remove, replace and redesign. Gemini can help us do this, can help restore damaged photos, remove distracting backgrounds, replace those backgrounds with something new and redesign images for our specific projects. My final thought for you today is that AI is not here to replace us as researchers. It's a powerful new partner that allows us to tell our family stories in more visually compelling and engaging ways than ever before. Here's your call to action. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I encourage you to try out Gemini 2.5 today and create meaningful and beautiful images to enhance your ancestral stories.